Hi, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I hope you're able to see the video that Mrs. Lynch is going to put up about Cinco de Mayo. She's going to be reading a story to you. I think you will enjoy it. But for now, we are going to go over the worksheet in our packet, which is lesson 10.3. It also says at the top, measure time intervals, and the page number is page 573, chapter 10. This worksheet page for GoMath is the same as the GoMath video I put up a little while ago on elapsed time. So what you see in this um, video on this worksheet is basically the same thing that was shown in the GoMath video. That I put up. So let's begin. We are going to look at the essential question at the top. It says, how can you measure elapsed time in minutes? Again, this is our learning target as well. I can measure elapsed time in minutes. That is our goal for today and tomorrow. I will do two pages today with you, okay? And again, this is lesson 10.3, page 573, chapter 10. It goes along with the video. You'll notice Ms. Harling already filled in the information, but I'm going to go over it with you. You can stop the video if you need to, if I'm going too fast, so that you can fill things in as uh, you look at this sheet. So let's unlock the problem. Alicia and her family visited Kennedy Space Center and they watched a movie. It began at 4.10 p.m., and it ended at 4.53 p.m. How long did the movie last? The first bullet asks you to circle the times the movie began and ended. And Ms. Harling already did that, so please pick up your pencil and do that on your sheet. 4.10 is when the movie began. 4.53 is when the movie ended. The next bullet, underline the question. Now, because this is a word problem, we know we have to underline the question because we have to figure out what they are asking us to do. How are we going to solve? It says, how long did the movie last? That is what you're trying to find out. All right, so please underline that question. How long did the movie last? All right, so we are learning elapsed time. Look at the definition. To find elapsed time, find the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end of the activity. That is what elapsed time is all about. Finding the start time, finding the end time, and knowing how much time has elapsed. How much time has gone by from the beginning of something you started to the end of something. Here's one way to do elapsed time. It says, use a number line. So this is a strategy, boys and girls, that you can use to help you find elapsed time. Step one, find the time on the number line that the movie began. If you look at your paper, they wrote it for us. The movie began at 4.10. Step two, count on to the ending time, 4.53. And you're going to count by tens for each 10 minutes. And you're going to count on by ones for each minute. Please circle that information and underline. To find out how much time, um, how much elapsed time went by, you're going to circle tens and circle the word 10 minutes. And then you're going to count on by ones for each minute. We're gonna write those times below the number line. Step three, draw the jumps on the number line to show the minutes from 4.10 to 4.53. Record the times and then add them. So again, a number line is a strategy that we can use to help us find elapsed time. We're gonna make jumps on the number line, counting by tens and ones, and then we're gonna add those minutes together to find how much time went by. So let's begin. Here's the 410. We're gonna jump by 10 minutes 
and we're going to have 420. And again, they already told you that because they gave you the 420 on the number line. Then we're going to jump again 10 minutes. Please write 10. And after 420, you will have 430 when you add 10. Then jump again, and you will add 10 minutes to 430, and you will have 440. Jump again another 10 minutes, and when you add 10 minutes onto 440, you will have 450. Now, you're at 450, you really can't jump 10 minutes anymore because you will go past the ending time, which is 453. So now we're gonna count by ones. Notice they did the first one for you. We're at 450, they added a minute, now we're at 451. Keep adding one minute. <clears throat> One minute added on to 451 takes us to 452. Please write that on the line and make sure you're making the jumps and writing the minute above your jump. After 452, we're gonna add one more minute and we are at 453. So this is similar to a poster that Mrs. O'Neill made for her class, but she also wanted us to share it with our students as well. So Ms. Harlan's gonna share her poster on Remind, Mrs. Radon, Mrs. Uh, Graham, Mrs. Short, all the third grade teachers, Mrs. Uh, Kidd, Mrs. Tiberio, we are going to try to share that poster that she made because she showed an example of a number line to help us find elapsed time. So make sure you look out for that poster and you can use that as an example to help you when you're learning elapsed time. And again, you see it here on the paper. Now, those are all the jumps that we made. At the bottom, underneath the number line, it gives you all of the jumps added together, makes 43 minutes. So the movie began at 410, it ended at 453. That is four 43 minutes that have gone by. So the elapsed time from 4.10 to 4.53 p.m. is 43 minutes. So the movie lasted 43 minutes. Make sure you have that information written on your paper. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see all of it. Take your time. Again, if you need to pause the video, you can do that. And I'm gonna move on in about five seconds. Okay. So now, we are going to go to the next page of Lesson 10.3, and we are on page 574. We were on page 573, now we're doing 574. At the top, here are some other ways to find elapsed time. Again, this was in the video that I already posted on YouTube. Start the time again, 4.10, and time is 4.53. So they're still talking about when they went to see the movie. This is another way to do it on an analog clock. Step one, find the starting time on the clock, which is there. This clock represents 4.10. The short hand gives the hour, it's the four o'clock hour. The long hand is on the two, that means 10 minutes have gone by, so that's the time that the movie started. Step two, count the minutes by counting on by fives and ones. Let's underline that. You're gonna be counting by fives and ones on this clock to get to 4.53 p.m. Write the missing counting numbers next to the clock. Ms. Harling already did that. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I did so that you can copy. All right, so here you have it, my friends. We're starting at 4.10, which is right here. And it's 0, 5, 10, the next one's 15, the next one's 20, 25, 30, 35 goes on that line, 40 goes on this line. Then they started counting by ones because we can't count by fives anymore or we'll go past 453. Uh, so this is 41, the next one's 42, the next one's 43. Again, that's the same thing we had on the number line. How many minutes did the movie last? 43 minutes. We just showed you on a 
analog clock. Again, we started here because this is where we need to start counting to see when the movie ended. We have to start at 410. So please write 43 minutes. Step B, it says now another way you could do it is using subtraction. This was also in the video. Step one, write the ending time, then write the starting time so that the hours and minutes line up. The hours are the same, so the subtraction happens in the minutes. So we don't have to worry about figuring out the different hours because the movie lasted within the four o'clock hour. We just have to subtract the minutes. So the ending time is written first, 4.53. The start time is written underneath it, 4.10. When we subtract, three minus zero is three, five minus one is four. Again, did we still get 43 minutes? Yes, we did. So that's three different ways to show elapsed time. A number line, an analog clock, and you can use subtraction as long as the hours are the same you then subtract just the minutes. All right, now let's go to the bottom. It says try this. Find the elapsed time in minutes two ways. So this is a new problem and there's new times. The start time is 10.05, the end time is 10.30. Use a number line. We've already done that on the other page, so now we're gonna do it for this problem. It says, uh, Find 10.05 on the number line. They did it for us, there it is. Count on from 10.05 to 10.30, draw marks and record the times on the number line and then draw and label the jumps. Think, counting on using longer amounts of time that makes sense. So here's 10.05, the first jump I made was 10 minutes. It's easy to count by tens. So 10.05 plus 10 more minutes is 10.15, make that jump. I can do another 10 minutes, add it to 10.15, and I'm at 10.25. Now I don't want to do another 10 minutes because I'll go past the ending time, which is 10.30. So instead of doing another 10 minutes, I did another 5. So I jumped 5 minutes, added it to 10.25, and I'm at 10.30, and now I can stop. What do I do with all of my jumps? I add them together. 10 plus 10 plus five gives me what? 25. So it told me to add the final total minutes from 10.05 to 10.30. I just did that. 10 plus 10 plus five is 25. So from 10.05 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. is 25 minutes. So the elapsed time is 25 minutes. If I'm going too fast, pause the video so you can copy. All right, last but not least, use subtraction. Again, this was the other uh, strategy we learned to help us find elapsed time. We did a number line again, now we're doing subtraction again. It says, think, the hours are the same, so subtract the minutes. This is easy because it's still the 10 o'clock hour. We just have to subtract the minutes to find out how much time has gone by. So. The end time goes first, 10.30. The start time goes underneath it, 10.05, and we subtract only the minutes. We can't take five from zero, so more on the floor. We go next door and get 10 more. The three tens gets crossed out. We're borrowing one of them, so now we only have two tens left. The one ten we're borrowing goes in the ones place to make 10. Now we can subtract. 10 minus five is five and two minus zero is two. Did we get 25 minutes again for this problem? Yes, we did. So we showed two ways to find the elapsed time for this problem. We did a number line and we got 25 minutes. We subtracted and we got 25 minutes using the times 10.05 and 10.30. Okay, my friends, I am done. Please look at my calendar today again is Tuesday, May 5th. 
I showed a video. I did lesson 10.3 pages 573 and 574. Now I did give you homework yesterday and I'm not gonna go over it because the video is long enough. I will try to go over it tomorrow. I'm giving you a couple of days to finish this homework, which was 571 and 572. But now I've moved on to lesson 10.3, learning about elapsed time. Don't forget, you can also work on elapsed time in that other packet that was sent to you. This is the, let me show you. This, boys and girls, is the monthly math journal. It says interactive math journal for third grade. I'm not gonna really go over this too much. I'm gonna try to here and there, but that's just for extra practice. You can go into that packet and look at some of the elapsed time sheets and try to work on them. You might have to get another sheet of paper and make a number line if you're comfortable using that strategy, or you can do the subtraction strategy if you're comfortable using that one. But try some of those in the packet for some extra practice whenever you have time. Um, I'm glad that you were able to watch. I hope you watched the Go Math video first because it goes along with this sheet. And now you have the information for this sheet, which was pages uh, 573 and 574. And I will be back on tomorrow to do more of lesson 10.3. And I will also go over that homework that I gave you on Monday. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.